Hello everyone, welcome back to another Starships 2.0 tutorial. This time I'll be talking about recharging and refitting, the Starship version of a short rest and a long rest. Let's start with recharging. Recharging a Starship consists of makeshift repairs and the like, and doesn't require a Starship to dock anywhere. Recharging takes one hour in total, and requires a workforce, as shown in the Starship Size Equipment Workforce table. If recharging is interrupted for more than an hour, the workforce must begin recharging again for the ship to gain any benefit from it. This means that the workforce can do the recharging in chunks until the one hour total time is reached, but if there's a break in the recharging that's longer than one hour, the process has to be restarted from the beginning. Once recharging is completed, a crew member can attempt to spend one or more hull dice by making an intelligence mechanics kit check. On a roll of 10 or less, the crew member has disadvantage on the hull die roll. On a roll of 11 to 20, they roll the hull die normally. On a roll of 21 or higher, they roll the hull die with advantage. Whenever a hull die is spent to regain hull points, a crew member rolls the hull die and adds the ship's constitution modifier to it. The starship regains hull points equal to the total. The crew member can then decide to roll another hull die. Additionally, all shield points and shield dice are replenished at the end of recharging. Then we have refitting. Refitting requires that the ship put in in a spaceport or a shipyard. Refitting costs a number of credits equal to 100 credits per missing hull dice multiplied by the starship size upgrade cost table. Refitting, like recharging, also requires a workforce equal to that which would be used for recharging. Refitting takes a varying amount of time based on the size of the ship. A tiny ship takes 4 hours, a small ship takes 8 hours, a medium ship takes 1 day, a large takes three days, a huge takes one week, and a gargantuan takes one month. At the end of refitting, a ship regains all lost hull and shield points, replenishes all lost hull dice and shield dice, and its system damage level is reduced by one. There are two other things I'll briefly mention here, the used condition and primary systems failure. I brought up primary systems failure in the ship consumables video. If your ship's primary systems fail, an emergency backup will activate, provided your ship still has fuel, for 24 hours. After that period, all electrical systems, including life support, fail. Primary systems can be repaired during refitting for an extra cost. Repairing primary systems costs a number of credits, equal to the ship's maximum number of hull points, times 10, times an amount based on the starship size upgrade cost table. If your ship had the used condition at the start of refitting, the foremost mechanic can make a DC-30 intelligence mechanics kit check. On success, the ship no longer has the used condition, but you must also pay a number of credits equal to the starship's maximum number of hull points times 10 times an amount based on the starship size upgrade cost table. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this video to be helpful and informative, and I'll see you on the next one.